I'm Catherine Foley, and this DVD is a recording of traditional Irish step dances. It is a compilation of dances that I learned from older step dancers in different parts of Ireland, predominantly Cork City, North Kerry, and Labashida in County Clare. I've been very fortunate in that I've been able to learn from these dancers directly, and as they shared their dances with me, I would now like to share their dances with you. I will start with the Peggy McTaggart dances because I learned from Peggy McTaggart from Cork. And Peggy McTaggart was born in 1924 and she died in 2011. And Peggy McTaggart had the opportunity of learning from many of the old dancing masters in Cork City. Her own teacher was Cormac O'Keefe and Tommy Cullum. And the older dancing masters they would have been Stevie Comerford and Omani, Freddie Murray and others in Cork City. So some of the dances that I will do for you on this DVD will be dances from these dancing masters. I will also do dances from North Kerry. And the dances from North Kerry came about as I was a collector of Irish traditional music, song and dance from Muckras House in Killarney in County Kerry. I began this collection in 1980 when I worked during summer months from Muckra's house and although I was collecting music and song from 1980 to 1982, from 1983 to 85, I was collecting traditional step dances. It was believed at the time that these step dances were in decline because they were not being transmitted as before and they felt it was very important that the dances be now collected. So my job was to collect these dances. I learned the dances from the elderly step dancers in North Kerry because, as I mentioned, they were in decline. These dances were very important. They were dances that had been choreographed by a dancing master by the name of Jeremiah Molno. And Jeremiah Molno had been born in 1883 and he died in 1965. I did not have the privilege of meeting Jeremiah Molno, although I would have dearly loved to have met him but I had the next best opportunity, which was to learn from his students. Jeremiah Molna would have learned in turn from Nedine Bat Welsh, and Nedine Bat Welsh would have learned from a dancing master by the name of Maureen, or Tom Moore. And Tom Moore would have been born in 1823, and he died in 1878 as a result of the famine, and he died in the workhouse in Listow. Maureen, would have learned, according to folklore, from O'Kerine. And O'Kerine was said to be the dancing master who systematized Irish dance as we know it today. Along with O'Kerine, there were also other dancing masters in the area, so probably they all had some input into the systematization. But generally, when people talk about Irish step dance and the beginning of Irish step dance, they go back to the end of the 18th century. And the name that is predominant is O'Kerine, and Maureen would have learned from O'Kerine. So there's a whole line, a lineage of dance masters in North Kerry that goes right up to Molino. And as I said, Molino's students taught me. So the dances on this recording that I'm going to perform are very much part of the North Kerry heritage in Irish step dance, and that I would like to share with you. These dances are now in Mokra's house. So although I will perform some of them today, more of them will be available in Mokra's house. I will do some sets like the Blackbird and St. Patrick's Day. But again, there were many versions of these set dances. I will just do one of the versions. I will also do a dance by James Keane from La Bishida in County Clare. And James Keane was born in 1917 and he died in the year 2000. James Keane was danced in residence, the very first dancer in residence at any university in the world. And here he was dancing in residence at the University of Limerick. And James used to come in every Wednesday to teach his dances. And again, I had the privilege of learning from James Keane. And the dance I will do on this recording is The Priest in His Boots. And this dance James learned from Dan Fury, his very good friend, who was also a dancer and fiddler. 
And Dan learned from James Keane's father, who was Charlie, Charlie Keane. And Charlie Keane learned from Pat Barn, who was a dancing master who came from West Limerick up to La Bashida and Clare to teach. So the dance, the priest in his boots, possibly goes back to the 1860s. I hope you enjoy these dances and I hope you will transmit them further to others that they may live on in your bodies. <laughs>